Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to this other edition of Spotlight on Gwenti Media TV. If you're just tuning in, please share the video and let us know um, what questions you have for our guest today. Our guest is an amazing, multi-talented Cameroonian lady from the Northwest region of Cameroon. She is an artist. She has an amazing voice, and she's also the founder of an amazing organization called Modeland Cultural Connections. And through that organization, she created an amazing experience which brings together people who want to reconnect to their motherland through food, music, and other amazing things. Guys, you need to sit tight. It's going to be a wonderful journey. And like I always love to say, it's going to be so juicy. Bienvenue à tout le monde. Vous êtes sur Wendy Media TV. Et euh, l'émission, c'est bien sûr Spotlight. J'aimerais utiliser cette opportunité pour dire euh, bonjour et bienvenue à tout le monde qui nous rejoint à l'instant. Et comme d'habitude, nous allons souhaiter un joyeux anniversaire à tous ceux-là qui fêtent leur anniversaire aujourd'hui. OK? So, happy birthday to Joe Trevor, who is an amazing PR, very young at heart, but so amazing. I want to wish a happy birthday to Agwe Patience, who is a wonderful friend of mine. And please, if you know anybody who is celebrating their birthdays, please let me know. In the comment section, I'll definitely wish them a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Kang Quintus. He celebrated his birthday um, just the other day alongside Cameroonian artist Daphne at a, an orphanage in the southwest region of Cameroon. All right, guys, we're going to be starting right now. Grab your popcorn, your juice, whatever it is that makes you happy and come back. Let's enjoy this beautiful song, Happy Birthday, by Dino Flo and Andy Jemia. And I want all of you who are celebrating your birthdays at home to get up and dance with us right now. C'est ton jour, un homme de plus, la famille est là, tes amis sont là aussi. Levez-vous, levez-vous à la maison. Et... L'ambiance est chaude. Et il faut célébrer. Happy birthday to all of you celebrating. Happy birthday. Joyeux anniversaire. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, that's how we want the show to go on. We want all of you to participate on the program. So, hey, without wasting much time, let's welcome the gorgeous... Her name is Mirabel Umer, but most of you would know her as Myra Maimo. She'll be telling us all about that name in a very short while. So, hey, let's welcome her drum rolls. <laughs> hi. 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 Looking amazing, girl. So are you. You're looking amazing. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Eunice Guamesia, doctor, for Ooh. joining us so much, for tuning in. These are the ladies of WILD, WILD Women Circle, yes. of course, yes. the powerhouse of women who work together, who build together, and who succeed together. So, hey, welcome, sis. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> How are you doing now? And they find who they try small, small push and small, small. <laughs> Amazing. You give us a secret to that weight loss later because I need to lose some weight, girl. <laughs> Seriously, it took me about three years to lose weight loss already. I take it easy. easy. Slowly. Yeah. It's going to come, right? I mean, yeah. workouts every day, it's starting to get cold now. So my evening walks, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but <laughs> trying to to make it work maybe dancing dancing is so key. yeah you know introduce yourself to the public guys share the video share the video and send in your comments for our guest today tell us who you are i know you grew up in cameroon and you're from the northwest region so just tell us the other things <laughs> yeah so hi everyone i am so thankful to be here thank you for the opportunity to talk about uh, me and what we do so, I am Mirabel Omene. I am a doctor. I am a wife. I am a singer. I'm a singer and songwriter. Um, I am a creative generally. 
So I love creating things. I love fashion. I love Africa. I love food. I love our heritage. And um, those are the things that bring me joy. And so in everything that I do in business, I try to channel these passions uh, to the core. Yeah. And um, at Motherland Cultural Collections, we take our guests to Africa through experiences. Uh, we have cooking experiences where we cook dishes from Africa, different African countries. And uh, we share them with live music and uh, storytelling. Wow. Educational experiences as well. And those go to cultural competency training. Um, we pair those with a dance workshop and drumming workshop. And wow. we of course have um, the house concert, which are um, intimate experiences uh, where we took three different African musicians. Mm -hmm. The aim of just educating people who don't know about Africa, reconnecting mm -hmm. people who have lost touch with Africa, and uh, mm -hmm. bring the community together. Wow. Our is to empower African immigrants or people who have ties to Africa and live here to use the skills that they brought from wherever the people came from, you know, to use them, um, 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 enable them to earn some extra income on the way and just, you know, ha not be alone because that is uh, right. a lot. When part of an amazing community, a community yeah. where you share a lot of things in common, yes. you share music love in common, you share food love in common. And hey guys, let me let me just let you know before the end of the program today, our guest will be giving us an amazing recipe. Okay. Yeah. Like she told you, she has this um program that she created. It's called Motherland Cooking Connect Experience. Yeah. And uh before the end of today, she's gonna be teaching us a really simple but nice recipe that you can share and enjoy with your family during this period. So you don't want to miss out on that. Yeah. So you need to stay right to the end. Now let's talk about your love for music. Girl, I know you as an artist with that soulful <laughs> voice that <laughs> makes anybody be transported to another planet. Oh my God. I love the music. Where would I even start? I knew I had a deep, deep love for music when I was doing it. It was okay. always too much fun. Yeah. When it kicked out, they would pick me when I did it recite any point or thing. And I, yeah, I loved it. I loved doing that. Mm -hmm. and it morphed to me doing my own little band with neighbors. Uh, <laughs> I never really you see those hearts going up. I see Lily being low. Thank you for joining, sis. Share the video. Um, she's an amazing woman in the community. We'll yeah. definitely hear yeah. her sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the music oh. is a part of me and I discovered very early on that it was my media um distress whenever yeah. I was upset uh singing would help me whenever I was happy I would express the song so before I knew it I, I started writing songs and mm -hmm. my brothers would sing to me all day about the songs they call them for me for me you know for me for me wow. <laughs> songs, you know then it wasn't really a thing that was celebrated at home i was more of an reason because i sang all the time <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful reason i guess yes, yes. It, it morphed to me singing uh, in, in uh, girl groups singing back up at studios and um, i finally started uh, singing my own songs and out. So it's been an amazing journey. It's tricky combining all of that with everything that I have. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a wife. I'm a business uh, uh, owner, and so it gets tricky. How often I I put a lot of for example, and how you're able to manage all those you know hats at the same time. Yeah. So you know what, girl, because you're an artist and because you have that amazing soulful voice, and for all these beautiful ladies that I see who have joined, Eunice Guan Messia, Doctor, Lily Binglo, and all of you who are sharing the video and participating, I want you to give them a beautiful song. I'm just gonna get off the screen right now and let you have your moment, girl. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. So um, this song I'm gonna sing is called Unique. And uh, this one is 
it's an empowerment song for girls, for boys. Uh, when you start doubting yourself, um, I do that. I sing the song to myself. So it's some sort of an affirmation. And it says, you are beautiful. You are talented. You are unique. There's just one you in the world. And the world needs you. That's why you're here. You know, and do not let anybody take that away from you or bring you down. So let's 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 see how this goes. <laughs> Are you covered up in bruises? Be the mother ones you love. Then I say, baby, it is time to go. Are you the girl they bully night and day? Cause you don't feed in. Look in the mirror, look deep in your eyes. Tell her, hey girl, you are unique. You're beautiful in every way. Don't you let nobody bring you down. Don't you let nobody bring you down. Say, hey girl, dust off the shame. Drop the baggage, pick up your pride. You're deserving of love. You're deserving of love, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. You were scared to be all alone. You were scared to be left all broke. You were scared to be all alone, all alone. Don't you know what you have inside, girl? Don't you know you were born a fight? Don't you know you were justified? Yeah, justified. Tell her, hey, girl, you are unique. You're beautiful in every way. Don't you let nobody bring you down. Don't you let nobody bring you down. Say, hey, girl, that's not the shame. Drop the baggage. Because you're deserving of love. You're deserving of love. Yeah. Our has just come down to the building. I don't know what you're doing, where you are. I need to see love going up, guys. Did you guys just hear that voice? Like, did you guys even listen to the message in that song? Are you guys serious? I mean, I'm seeing all the strong ladies in the house. I see Linda Are. Oh, hey, sister, how you doing? Yes. Doctor here. I see oh Claude Songe watching all the way from Paris. Yes, good to see you, big bro. Um, of course, Lily Binglo is there. Guys, share the video. We need to see more Hi, people. Guys. And of course, I see my um my little sister watching all the way from Lagos. She's a um an actress there, a Nollywood director. Welcome, darling. Love you, love you, love you, girl. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> there was fire in the building. I don't know if you guys were feeling it. I'm already feeling hot right now. So um, tell me about that song, Unique. That song, yeah. I mean, I, whenever that song came out, it was everywhere. Every mm -hmm. woman wore it like a dress on her. Mm -hmm. And she walked, you know, so proud, so strong, so, you know, believing and everything. Tell us a song, sis. So this song, uh, I wrote it in mind when I was doing a really rough time. And I, I was trying at, uh, I was trying my way, try, trying to get through a couple of things and I just got to the wall. But also, I really didn't have the positive uh, affirmation, the reinforcement around me. And that was when I, I was starting my business, my second business. And I, after a while, I just felt really, really depressed because oh. nothing was working. Yeah. And uh, this song, for me, was like an anthem. Wow. So when I wrote it, I was writing it. With, with me in mind, I was writing it with all the little girls in mind who get bullied because they're different, you know, or people who are just a little bit different in the community and they are left out, right? And so I was thinking about all of these people when I wrote the song. I wanted them to feel empowered, to feel um, inspired, to go out and it's like a rally song, right? Just to, to gather up every energy that you have left and fight, you know, 
fight because you you there's nobody like you in the world. And a lot of the times we get to hear a lot of lies coming from everywhere and we see them and we internalize them. And so this is like pronouncing the things, the affirmations that will get you going, that will fuel you up, that will uh, um, you know, as they say, they'll burn, burn, they'll burn you behind, then you run. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I, I remember that you and you and I were part of, I mean, like I already said, um, we are part of a women's group, like an empowerment yeah. women's group, wild um, women's, um, you know, we, uh, an amazing founder, Linda Ari, and, and a, a tribe of, of strong women. I heard you talk about your story and, and, and how you came about creating the motherland um connections you know i'd like you to share that story with people you know other people like um how did it come about like what inspired you to create um such a platform where um motherland first of all that name um and it, it's it's a community of women and you've opened it up to men and other people who are interested in yeah. in connecting and learning and sharing tell us about about you know how you created this and what pushed you to create an organization like that yeah um i would tell a story <laughs> because i like telling stories so um when i moved here i moved from germany i already had a master's degree and i was coming here to do a second one. and uh well, i was done with everything i thought it was gonna be easy you know, for me to land a job yeah i tried so hard mm -hmm. two master's degrees a lot of uh, experience working at no, you know, two master's degrees Asia. i tried that didn't help <laughs> you know i you would think that that would, that would pave the way for you you know mm -hmm. i tried everything around um where i live here in Michigan, and i went to so many interviews and what i noticed was a lot of the times when they heard my accent they would start doubting um if the, i really had the experiences so i right. did a couple of interviews and i got i got that feedback like it's I a little weird right to imagine that yes. you do all these things but because of the way you speak because yes. of the way you look they start asking you so many questions like you need to prove yourself like can you actually do what you're saying yes and I'm it, gonna, it was really cool to see the screen and let you, you know, have this moment, talk okay. to the yeah. Yeah. Well, we're of, um, and I I really wanted to work. I wanted to use my skills, what I learned, I I didn't want to do it. And uh after I I got um it went it went well but to an extent we we hit, we hit the wall with all the riots and, and everything else and so we had to support and start looking somewhere else and i came back here again you know like okay what now <laughs> what now what are yeah. the next steps i know i'm still trying to get jobs and i didn't get um so i said i would start a platform mm -hmm. for people like me because people just no matter how you explain what your dream was what the experiences would be that you wanted to give people just they, they couldn't understand it because mm -hmm. it's not anything of this there was so much that you needed to do and so you found that path yourself you created yes. a platform yes. to help people like you reconnect, yes. be able to yes. express themselves and be the best versions of themselves mm -hmm. And so it took me just looking around, asking around. I'm a musician. I know other musicians. And I met some other musicians who have not been practicing or doing anything for such a long time because they didn't have any platform. And I think it's like, who do you even go? You know, who do you go to? When you move in, where do you, how do you even start? And so, yeah. Uh, I thought about this and then I said, we're going to start small. We'll start in my basement and we'll try this thing out just to see if there is even a market for it. You know? right. And we started with uh, a couple of other musicians, some of who were not African. And the whole thing was just, let's 
start a house concert. That's how we started. Just oh, house that's really music. interesting. A house concert. Nice. Nice concert. And um, we asked questions. We tested our, 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 our customers. We asked them questions. And we were able to learn a lot. And we point our experience with all of these things. And I'm now very, very happy and proud. When I turn around and I see my sisters, I have my sisters with me. I we are holding hands. And I just want to let you know that the wild ladies, the wild ladies are going wild on the platform for you. I see Mad Love keep pushing the hearts up, guys. Keep sending in those likes and remember that we're streaming live on Gwen Media TV, Facebook, and YouTube. You can watch anywhere you want. Keep those comments coming and keep sharing the video. Thank you to Jay Teddy Ranui for joining. Tai Chaosi Zaina for joining as well. All mm -hmm. right, Mara, you're covered. You got the ladies. We're backing you. We definitely are back. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is why I love, I love Wild because it's it's all about empowering. It's all about yeah. it's all about holding each other's hands. I I look for collaboration. I so that's hi Linda. Hi all the Wild ladies. <laughs> G Gwendolyn, welcome. That's my homo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, how was the experience like? You guys started with house parties, house concerts, yes. and you have parties from Africa and other places. How was the very first, would I say first quarter or first first year? How yeah. was the response from, from the people around you? And what kept you going? Mm. So the first, the first one was actually very good. Had about uh, thirty people, yeah. and um, we were we were going for it, expecting just about twelve because this was just being part of the hour thing. And so we ended up having so many people, and they were so excited about the idea. This is not something uh, that they see very often. For yeah. um, people who live around here, you have to go to Detroit to get entertainment. You have to go to Chicago to get entertainment. So this is something new. And we were talking about the pricing, what should come with it. There was food, there was African food. And so it was a place for people to come and sample. You're sampling the food, but you're also learning about the food that you've never heard anything about. And yeah. I am the culture and kind of music. Yes. I am for that kind of musician that probably uh, uh, is uh, talented, but just doesn't know where to start or the resources to so it was it was really nice they uh, we had such good feedback i was really encouraged um after that first i was just like with this kind of uh, uh, feedback there's no way i slow it down i have to take it all the way and right so we tried uh, a couple of months and then uh we did about six months of concerts in homes not only my home but other people because we started, yes, we started getting booked to come perform in smaller gatherings and stuff like that. And um, after that, we moved and we went out. Uh, we went to um, link up. We partnered with link up, and then they gave us the space, and that's what we were using when COVID nineteen hit. But wow. the the one thing that has really really uh, encouraged me throughout the journey is to see how little efforts and go towards changing uh, perspectives for so many people you know yeah. we we don't only take care of our businesses and our our, our groups or everybody with us it's a safe space for the community to come and learn about africa ask questions you know that they probably have Cats inside, they're probably too shy to ask, you know, because they are worried about what people are going to think about them. Do you, do you know something strange? Like, somebody actually asked me one day when they found out that I came from Africa, they're like, What's Africa like? I said, Well, Africa is like a huge continent, and with so many countries, my country is just one of the countries. Oh, really? It's not one country. I said, No. Um, okay. You guys have cars in Africa. I said, Hello, we drive. <laughs> Some of the latest cars that you see here, we have them in Africa. The only difference is we own everything we have. We don't yeah. have credit and stuff like that. Our system yeah. is built in that way. So I was like using my braggadocious moments, you know, like. 
but I mean, it's so amazing because a lot of times people have read things in books that they not read. They don't really know much about. Um, it's it's important to have such platforms, you know, yeah. multiply them around for people to actually come and know the truth mm -hmm. about. Okay, we have good food. We have this. We have all these um, amazing clothes, um, yeah. fabric. We have this kind of hairdos. We have, you know, languages like this and stuff like that. So I would say, hey, good job, girl. Good job. So um, you started with um, with the the motherland connections, and then you you added something else, which was the experience. What was the difference between the motherland connections and the motherland experience? And why did you want to separate it? Like, you know, make it to be on its own side. Yeah. So um, motherland cultural connections is all about culture, promoting African culture. And we do this through different means. Why we set it apart of the motherland experience? Because it's um, so much more... Food is different. Mm -hmm. the, way, the way you present food, especially when you're doing multiple things onto your, your umbrella company, it yeah. helps you separate to, to avoid confusion. Mm -hmm. So we, that's what we were going for. But also, food, it just needed to stand on its own. The website had to be completely different um, and uh, have a lot of information, pictures, so that people know what they are getting. Right. Again, this is not something that has been done anywhere. Uh, 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 an experience, freshly curated with uh, food. It's not just like a cooking class. There's, mm -hmm. food, there's music, and then we have wines as well. So it's oh, wow. wines from Africa as well, or just wines from, from Africa. Africa. Everything oh. that is done there is curated to highlight Africa. So we take different dishes from different countries. Traveling to Africa without actually traveling to Africa. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so, did you have like different countries represented? Where you have like a, a, a particular, like a particular booth for Cameroon, a booth for Nigeria, a booth for Ghana, or was it just like a mixture of everything? Well, we we do that in courses. So okay. One course will come from one country to next one another country, mm -hmm. and it's more of an intimate, hands-on experience. When it's done in person, everybody has their station where they cook. So we would give things around for people to do uh, instructions. And we are all there cooking together. We cook whilst we're cooking. We're talking about the people, we're talking about um, uh, the, the country, where that dish comes from. We're talking about the people, what makes them different. You know, so you don't think you're learning, but by the time you leave, you've learned so much about at least one African country, you know, and it's always fun how <laughs> how people come in not knowing what to expect. And then I'm just like, okay, there's nothing like this. Wow. I've never seen this done. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted people, when you get exposed to African culture, you're not only looking at one one type or one one item or one one uh object. you're taking a 360 look at the whole thing wow girl i just hey i just want to <laughs> give like in fact hands up hands up for that because yes i think you found the need you found a need and you found a way to meet that need and then you found a way to grow that experience and include other people from different places. You mm -hmm. found a way to, you know, pass on a message about a people, about a community, about a tribe, about, you know, the different things that make up these amazing people that we are. Because I just, yeah. I just love to say that I'm amazing. And I, I like to tell anybody who wants to hear it that, hey, I'm a princess from mm -hmm. Africa where I come from, I'm a princess, because you know what, we have that respect, we have that culture that if you are something, if you got something, you know, it means a lot, and that's yeah. how we make it look, and so I, I just think that um, it, it's really an amazing thing that you did, and I want to say kudos, what would you say has been your most difficult experience um, trying to, to, to put on with the uh, motherland cultural connections, or um, Model, model land cooking experience or, or all the other businesses that you have? Yeah, so it's the, the, the biggest thing has been um, 
the fact that we started from scratch without any funding from anywhere, um, I had to manage a very tiny budget. This was like my little thing. I said, okay, we started this thing off with two hundred dollars. Uh -huh. So that was that was what we started with, and um, I knew, yeah, being a business, <laughs> being a business person, I knew that we needed to put in money for advertising and all of this. We had to do that, but we didn't have that money. I told myself, "You're gonna have to work with this. This is yep. what you're gonna have to work." With. This is the budget. And, this is it. Yeah. The soup with it. <laughs> yeah, make it work. Yeah, and so it didn't grow as fast as I would have wanted. But um, generally, for the company, uh, but once people started hearing about the rock concert, we started getting referrals. Like, you know, like someone would, would participate, and then the next time they bring two more people, three more people, and so that's pretty much how we grew. So the slower process that was hard for me because I I like to I like to see things. Oh, and I, the numbers also yes, change. I like to visualize. Yes, I want to see it grow. I knew that this was a new thing. It would be hard to even convince people to be there because they don't even know what they're thinking about. Yeah. What, what, what they should expect. They don't know. And so I had to take it easy. That was frustrating. Um, I had a lot of support from uh, my friends. I have uh, <laughs> Ruben here, Ruben, and of course, the amazing musicians. Who, when they heard about the idea, oh. they were like, yes, we want to do this. This yeah. is beautiful. And that was a confirmation for me. Because it's it's one thing your vision is your vision. And it sounds perfect in your head, you know. Unless you're able to convince another person to be a part of this. Yeah. Yes. So I was very that was I took it as a, as another confirmation. Um when all of my sisters and brothers they joined it and they were like, do this. We've been waiting for this for such a long time. Okay. Um, so I would still say it's hard. Uh, one of the difficulties, difficulties is just where we find ourselves. You know, um, this part of uh, Michigan, while Grand Rapids is very multicultural, um, a lot of the surrounding cities uh, aren't as multicultural. So you still have to convince people. To keep pushing and keep believing. Yeah. Of course, yes. the door opening. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Sis, I wanted to know, I wanted to find out from you, like, um, how did you get funding? I know you said you started with $200, but you kept it going. Where did you get money from? Were people starting to buy? Did you have products that you introduced that you started selling? Did you have tickets that people needed to pay to get on? How did you raise money to keep the process going? <laughs> so we... <laughs> laughter was like, okay, I'm going to ask Linda Ari to just back me up on this one. <laughs> yeah. I was just I was just thinking about what happened. So when when I started with the two hundred, we got people in. Everybody paid for their tickets. So that's how we started. So whatever was paid, I never used any cents out of it. I put it right back in the business. And okay. so I was able to. The more people we got, the more we got. And so I was able to buy um, our. All our devices, our speakers, our mic. So that we Can you not think have... all right? Sorry, Myra. I think yeah. um, Teddy Ranui says that <laughs> we're having a sound problem. I don't know why. Uh -oh. um, just, I don't know. We'll probably um, try to fix it maybe next time, but I don't know. I'm not sure why we're having this interference. Thank you for letting us know. Oh. Yes, Myra, go ahead. Yeah. What was, where was that? Okay. I was saying that we had to buy. Um, our, our equipment, and that okay. saved us from renting because it saved us money, and so that's just, just little, little common sense decision that would help you um, save money, yeah, and be efficient with money, right? That we did, and we just go there. After after every concert, we put everything in. After we paid um, um, all the participants, and it was really good because all of my brothers and sisters who joined, they believed in it from the very start. 
that's very important because yes. you need to have your team behind you. Yes. It's like when you're in a team, if you've ever played sports, any kind of sports, you know that you win together. Yes. And a lot of businesses, even today, who are using maybe scrum values or other means, um, you know, to succeed, they know the power of working in a team. Yeah. So, um, I would say that you you were so lucky, girl. You were so, so, so lucky. Hey, um, why don't we break this up a little bit? I want you to sing again for us, you know, because we need to talk about, you know, your new album that's on the way. You're yeah. actually planning to release something soon. Yes, because we're <laughs> enjoying that song, Unique. And um, you have something coming up, which you definitely tell us after you give us a very short accept of, of any of your beautiful songs, Mara. Take it away. I think Alina requested um, me, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you for picking that up. And she also talked about Yasa Chicken, so you tell us about that later on. Um, yes, definitely. Okay. So, Sing Me is um, one of those songs that just says, not everything that is said to you that is negative is supposed to kill you. Mm -hmm. You have power over your emotions and how you you react to what people tell you versus depending on other people to change or make you happy. You have to uh, make yourself happy. You have to start from within. Right. You start by filtering everything that goes through your ears and you take only the ones that will make you grow. And even yeah. the negative ones, because those will, like that. those will be the ones that will pull you all the way up. You know? And uh, it is also it was my very first single, so I, I love it. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this. Wombolombo, hey, wombolombo, hey, wombolombo, 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 hey, wombolombo. Growing up a girl, I said they're killing me, but they were healing me. I didn't know they criticized me. I said they minimized me, but they were maximizing me. Now I know I had to change my point of view. Cause a lot I never knew. And I will start to understand. I couldn't break as I would bend. Show it hurts when they say it. Then my shot, it didn't hit, yeah. Let me tell you something, friends. I will try to straighten my hands, oh. Growing up a girl, I said they're killing me, yeah. But they were healing me. I didn't know. They criticized me. I said they minimized me. But they were maximizing me. Now I know. They didn't always want my best. I didn't even know how much I'm blessed. So when the critics heard, Yes, I thought I was deserved. Sometimes they mean it good. Other times they mean it bad, yeah. No matter what you meant, I should use it to a stand. Oh, oh, oh. Growing up a girl, I said you're killing me, yeah. But they were healing me. I didn't know. They criticize me. I say they minimize me. You are maximizing me. Now I know. Oh my God. Myra Maimo. I don't know if she call you Mirabel Ume or Myra Maimo. You have not even told us how that name came about. Yeah. Girl, you gave me chills. Linda, thank you for requesting this song. I love, in fact, all of your songs, Myra, they are like lessons. Do you understand? It's like you're teaching a course 
but only you're using rhythm. So it sinks in a different way. It just oh, it penetrates you. your system. Like it's like it's like, oh yes, that's true. You remember that that has happened to you, and you're like, yes, now I know. They criticize you, they minimize you, and those are things that people face every single day. But they are not. The people who determine if you're succeeding in your life or not, it's you. Mm -hmm. You got it inside of you. You got that power, girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I know that it means a lot to you. And you you talk, you you describe yourself as, as an artist who inspires. Or maybe I should just let you describe your kind of music and, and, and what you say about your music. Hmm. So I am an artist on a mission to inspire to motivate, to encourage through my music, through my lyrics, and through my storytelling. That is what I live for. That's how I define myself in music. Um, I'm not trying to be uh, some kind of like somebody up there. I just want to be able to change someone's perspective. Once I know that I my song does that, I am I am done. My work is done. My work is done. Oh my God, Myra, Myra, Myra. Myra is a great entendre. Vous l'avez entendu chanter. Elle a une voix si mélodieuse qui peut transporter n'importe qui sur une autre planète. Et nous avons l'honneur de la voir ici aujourd'hui. Um, so Myra, tell us about the new music project that's coming up. Yes. Oh my God. Um, let me tell you, COVID nineteen did a thing. Okay, <laughs> I've been like um, so busy with uh, growing other and it was just really hard to sit down and do my creative So in music, we are when we perform songs, and we're still being creative. But the songwriting part was for, sort of like falling behind, and I was so. COVID was, was good in that way because I had time finally to sit down to and, read the jazz. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and just 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 think think about look at everything from another perspective, but also just use my free time to create songs. Yeah. And so this one with motherland and everything happening, I think I have been guilty of really not showcasing where I come from a lot in my song. Okay. And after Motherland, there was this push, this drive in me. I'm just like, let's do this. Everything African, let's do it. You know, and whether we're doing it African way, it doesn't. The African way is not just one way. Let me rephrase it. The African way is not one way. You can express your African musicality in different forms. And we have grown up getting a. Uh, different uh, influences from everywhere. And so as long as you have your Cameroonian root, your African root, I think you're good to go. So with yeah. this in mind, the, uh, the next album is called DNA. DNA? Yes. Wow. And with DNA, it's powerful. what I want to do is to connect everybody right back to the motherland. Right. And the way we do that is through music. A lot of the music that we hear came from Africa. Yeah, Africans. the rhythms, the sound, the dancing, yes. and yes. a lot of artists. I'll tell you that. Look at look at um Beyonce's um Black is King yes. movie that came out recently. You saw that she incorporated a lot of great African artists, African yes. dance rhythms, and all that yes. because that's where a lot of those things originated from. We still have that originality in there, and I I'm so grateful that you're bringing that up. Um, you're trying to infuse that into your music, Glam Queen. You are late. <laughs> what <was that> <laughs> what <was this> <laughs> <laughs> so dna is the new music project when is it set to drop it will be to 2021 um, june but before we get there we have a couple of singles that are going to be uh, the mm -hmm. first one is called daddy and that's going to be released on the 30th of October. So this is the first time I'm actually putting it out there. Um, it's going to be the 30th of October. And Dear Daddy, it's a, it's, a, it's a status update 
Right. It's a, a report that I'm doing. So my, my dad passed away. Um, at, I've talked about this like a long time. My dad was like so dear to me. And he they, they, can never, they can never leave us. You know, yeah. they're always there. And, and when they're not there anymore, yes you, you just sometimes you just have to to say it again because it, it yeah. kind of empowers you strengthens you so yeah. it's this um like value. yeah so this song is like telling him what has been happening oh and beautiful. It's, it's happy stuff it's sad stuff we're talking about what's mm -hmm. happening we're in the north and south regions right now we're talking about COVID, we're talking about us now, uh, our success is two years, and like, and then the, the, the message of this is, um, I think you're in some, in some ways, you're better away uh, than you're seeing some of these negative things happening now. But, um, the end goal is life can be hard, life is hard. But it's worth it. It's worth We're it. Making it. We're making it happen every single yes. day. Yes. Yeah, so the I mean, take home message is that it is worth living it. It's wow. not going to be all a bed of roses. You would have things exploding all around you. Mm -hmm. As long as you know you're going to make it, you know you are not alone, the task, the road gets easier. Yeah, I mean, it's just like you know, um, if, if for those who are Christians out here, you know, um, the word of God says a thousand will fall on your side, yeah. amen. A thousand will fall on your right, none of them is going to come near you. So, if you have that spirit, knowing that you have a you have people who are standing by you, you have a God that's above your head, yeah. you have you that warrior inside of you that you can bring out and and, yeah. and push, you know then you will not give up. These things will happen. They are distractions. They are the spices of life. You need pepper and mm -hmm. salt. You need all that for yeah. everything to work. If everything is so smooth, what is the point? You need yeah. to go to school, study <laughs> and then study harder and pass yes. to feel better. Do you understand? So it's, yeah. all of the things are really, really so, so important. Yeah. All right, Myra, let's talk about um, your big... Um, collaboration with Grand Rapids. Let's talk about that. Yes. I am so, so excited. I've had a relationship with the amazing people from Grand Rapids Public Review for quite some time. Yes. And we had been talking about how to get, because they always organize the heritage um, weekend where they should showcase cultures from around the world that are represented right here in Canada. And so I've participated, or I've always been part of this, and so I was talking with them about uh, the options for a virtual um, um, festival. You know? And we started talking about the community experience. And of course, we got excited about the idea because it's something that has been done. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really grateful that we were able to work through it. We have the date. Um, the date is going to be October 10th at 7 p.m. So if you go to the Grand Rapids Public Museum or website, you should be able to get uh, the for this uh, experience. And we're going to be cooking some familiar dishes. We're going to be doing soup and katsu katsu. We're going to be doing uh, good pepper soup. We're going to be doing puff puff as well. So we're going to take them through um, what happens in the small culture around food, how you, you serve the, the person that you see, like um, the leader, the, the, the head of the family, the, yeah, how you treat them. Signatures. So, so you're you're taking them through like a master class for whoever yes. is going to be attending. Yes. Um, you're gonna you're gonna give them a little except of of what Africa is all about, how we do things, how we greet, how you know what we eat, how we behave, how we collaborate. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful, girl. So when is this thing starting? So when is the collaboration starting. We would start on the fifteenth of. October from okay. 7 p.m. and what's of October 15th. Yeah. Okay. 13th. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And so what will happen is you go, you can go to the link, uh, register with the class, and then 7 p.m. you just get your ingredients ready. So wow. you have a list of ingredients there already provided. So people can go do the shopping and just get them ready and we will start cooking and okay. I'm talking and learning and dancing. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. And for all those who are joining and who have joined the program, who've been sharing the program, Mirabelle. Um, Umer, Myra Maimo has a beautiful surprise for us at the end of the program. Or oh, oh maybe before the end, how long is it going to take for us to cook that 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 beautiful recipe that you wanted to teach us while singing and talking? So we just wanted to do something a little <laughs> bit different. So she will be in the kitchen. And guys, if you're if you're around your kitchen, maybe you just need to go grab some ingredients, whatever it is. She's going to teach us how to make a, a beautiful meal, simple and snappy that you can enjoy with your family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I'm just gonna ask. Um, maybe while Myra takes the time to to move, um, you know, to the kitchen, um, I'll just maybe play a very short video. It's gonna be so short. I think I'm gonna use um, yeah, probably this video by Lisa Epoy, who is um a Cameroonian Makosa artist from. Uh, the literal region of Cameron. Just, it's going to be really short, Mara, so you better make it snappy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's meet in the kitchen. That's where we're going to end the program. She's, she's a captain everywhere, and she just knows how to move the ball the best way. Um, Wild is organizing an amazing, amazing marriage for a marriage a seminar. Is it a marriage seminar, Linda, just currently? I know I'm supposed to be one of the MCs. Um, it's for brides and brides-to-be. Okay, so if you're already a bride, if you're a bride-to-be, and you want to be part of this um, this amazing event. Stay tuned. I think it's happening on the 16th and 17th of October. Guys, yes, she says um, they're going to be learning so much because this period has it has strained a lot of families, a lot of relationships. So many couples are going through difficult times. A lot of people are divorcing because they, they have financial problems and all of that. Yes, Linda, I thank you for um, yeah, throwing more light on that marriage intensive, guys. Um, the tickets are available on Eventbrite, and you might maybe you can send a DM to um Linda to know about this amazing event coming up, guys. It's going to be <laughs> amazing. Um, Gwendolyn says that the sound quality has reduced. Do I need to increase my voice? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? Let me know if you hear me all right. I don't know why the sound is fluctuating today. Um, sometimes um, things happen like this. So let me check back here and see if Myra is back. I think she's still trying to set up a camera. Um, I hope she comes back soon. All right. Yes, yes. It's going to be an amazing, amazing conference. I'm feeling so pumped up and I'm really honored that I was chosen um, to be one of the MCs. Hello, Cyril, Joannes, comment tu vas, ma superstar? Uh, comment on se porte? Je sais pas, tu as Yaoundé ou à Douala. Merci de rejoindre uh, l'émission aujourd'hui. Uh, for all those who are just tuning in, this is Spotlight on Wendy Media TV. 
Uh, just reminding you that we're streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, if you're not following us on Facebook, guys, you are missing out on so many juicy programs that we have on here. We have programs in culture, music. Of course, Spotlight is one of our key programs here where we bring you amazing personalities with wonderful stories to inspire, to educate, to empower you every single week. Tomorrow, we have a special, special edition of Spotlight, and I want you all to be part of it. Our guest is a young writer, entrepreneur, and also a presenter. He's also the host of a wonderful program called Stuck in the Middle. I don't know if you know what it means for somebody to be stuck in the middle. It's like there's this presenter on the side, there's another one on the side, and you're like in the middle, and they just keep throwing all those questions on you. Uh, but tomorrow he's going to be our guest on Spotlight at 1 p.m. USA Eastern, and I believe that's 6 p.m. Cameroon time. If you can make it a date, come. He's going to be telling us about his new book, um, which is titled There's No Such Place As halfway as in between or something like that um i don't have it all in my head but you guys want to be um there tomorrow tune in and uh hey mara is back yes she's back and in the kitchen guys i am so pumped up right now if you have your um you know if you have your paper and pen ready oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna come over to your house um, <laughs> my God, jesus chicken is so big yeah, we're, we're, doing, we're cooking duck today. We're cooking duck. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> oh, yes. I am debating right now. Jesus, I need cooking classes. I feel like I've lost all my cooking skills. Yesterday, I tried to make puff puff. It came out like pancake. <laughs> I was like sitting there and I'm like, I've not made puff puff for like a year or so. And it seems like I can't even remember how to, I just mix stuff and it, it just came out like pancake. And I'm like, okay, girl, <laughs> you need to reconnect to motherland and thank God for motherland cooking experience, you know? Yes. Hey, Eme Bride, welcome, darling. You are so late, but I'm happy to see you. <laughs> so you go ahead, Mara, tell us we have dirt there. We have dirt. Um, two of them and then we have a spice mix right here so what i have in here i have five spice i have powdered onion i have powdered garlic and ginger i have a uh, dry parsley ground i have anise i have um I have salt in here as well. So those are the basic things that you need. So We're going to add the recipe after this. So if you want it, you can also check back later on and we'll have the recipe for this amazing dish. So what exactly are we cooking? We're cooking duck what? It's just gonna... roasted duck. It's just roasted duck that you can use. Yes. Um, this would be used to make something like curry duck where you would uh -huh. use um, uh, coconut milk. Uh -huh. And some chilies so when you brown all of them and you just let them simmer at the end, you can just cut your crispy duck and throw it in there. And you can eat it with rice, you can eat it with um, a lot of things actually. Or you can just eat it as it is. See? You know, guys, I'm just yeah. excited. I don't know if, ladies, are you guys as excited as I am? I can't see Myra's face though, but yeah. uh, just show you face time to time so we can see you, but we still want to see what you're doing down there. So that's okay. Sure. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this and then I'll pull it up and then we can talk more. Okay. So, okay. So we're cooking. Um, oh my God, babe. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to go to the grocery store after this. After this yes. yes, yes, yes. You know, one thing about duck um, in Cameroon, I could not stand duck. Let me pull this thing up. I couldn't stand duck at all. I'm just like, this, this, so like duck, duck, put it in simple language. Now, duck fowl. We now, duck fowl. <laughs> duck fowl. <laughs> you roasted duck fowl today. Yes. <laughs> See, seriously, this duck fowl thing, I could not stand in Cameroon. <laughs> the moment I found that like chicken, uh, chicken feet, worms, and stuff like that, I was just like, no way. No way I'm going to eat anything that you want. But then, of course, I always ended up eating it. But this one, I just finally fell in love with it again here. 
Yeah. And so it is dog fowl. Yes. <laughs> Dinda, that's a good translation. Dog fowl. Dog fowl. That dog fowl. Oh my God. So this is when, when this is done right, because dog has a lot of fat too. Um, once you are able to render the fat out, it is very crispy, very, very, very delicious. Yeah. So we do this very often at home now. Um, it's a very simple recipe. So all you need to do is to, once you rinse your, your duck, you want to pat it dry. Okay. So I'm going to put this down so we see what I'm doing. Yes, yes, go ahead. You want to be able to pat it dry. And sometimes you, if you decide to, you can use a little bit of um, mustard, okay. just a little bit of coating of mustard. What that does is it acts as a binder. So whatever spices you get to put on the chicken or on the pork is gonna stick on there and stay for uh, the, the length of cooking. So okay, this is very important, but mm -hmm. you can do it without. So I'm just gonna pat mine dry. Wow. And just like you would with your chicken, you need you when you're roasting, you need to make sure that the spices are able to go under the skin. Hiya. Hey, sh cooking, cooking 101. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet you have a video. Me woman, they don't know how to cook me. They learn this dog foul style because me, I don't want to cook me dog foul after this. Like for you. <laughs> so what you're doing is you what are you doing? Like you're trying to peel off the skin. Yes. What are I you doing? Separating the, the 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 meat from the skin. Oh. Because that's where I'm gonna insert my spices. Oh wow. Yes, that is oh. a very, very important part. And you wanna make sure that it goes all the way around the drum, like inside. Wow. You can spread it, you go all the way up on the breast as well. Wow. Well, so I have done this one. I could just learn in your house today, my Please son. learn, oh, yes. I said, please <laughs> learn. Linda, how did you do me? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I have uh, separated the skin. So I'm going to go around. I'm just going to mix my spices. Again, I'll just tell you what I have in here. I have garlic powder. I have ginger, onion powder. Um, I actually mentioned uh, a little bit of black pepper. Dried parsley. And um, salt, and I also put uh, maggi. So if you don't use maggi, that's fine. You can use other seasoning cubes as long as they're dry. Okay. The goal is for this uh, uh, to be as crispy as possible. And wow. the only way to do that is to use dry ingredients. Wow. So we're going to insert this all the way inside. We're going to rub it on the skin as well, but we'll take care of these parts just under the skin first. Okay. You make it all the way to the, the beginning of where the breast begins from the head. That's where mm -hmm. you want to start. Wow. And the cool thing about this, it doesn't take long at all to cook. So you can do um, 30 minutes in the oven okay. on one side, and then another 30 on the other side. So what you want to do is you want to suspend it so that uh, it's not cooking in its juices, it's cooking and draining. Okay. And that's how you're, you're able to render the fats away, get rid of the fats. Wow. And then I'm gonna keep a little bit of this to use. While it's cooking in the oven, I will come, I'll add oil in the mix. Okay. And then just baste it as it cooks. So wow. we're gonna go ahead and do some more here, and then you stick it in the oven, and that's pretty much it. You only come back when it's ready, and it's, when it's ready, brown and crispy. All oh my god! I love the crunch that comes from it. Then oh it's my god. god! This girl is making me like salivate. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's like dog fowl. I'm just like this is the kind of thing my mother hears that I now eat it. She's, she's gonna wonder what happened. Like what, what happened? Oh my gosh! Are you? <laughs> Seriously, eating dog powder, you were like, Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, so I have this one covered. The next thing I'm gonna do, I have my basil. Okay, this is very important, probably because I love it. Leaves. Okay, but it adds a lot of flavor, and oh. so I'm just gonna stick this. I'll cut off the, the softer parts and then I'll stick 
all of this inside like wow wow while it's cooking the basil flavor is permeating everything in here wow when, when you, eat it, you get you get you'll be able to get it along with the other um, spices wow Mm. So, sorry, guys, oh my god, but I don't need to. Normally, people would spray their chicken or their birds or their dog with oil. I don't mm. do that because it's already so fatty, right? It should I don't be. want to have any extra fat there. Yeah, so thank you, Alex, one for joining, watching from Canada. <laughs> nice. So, here I'm done with this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and Get my own so, uh, our, our guest is Mirabel Ume, as you have seen from the um the promo. She is a musician, she's been giving us some beautiful music. Uh, has an album coming up very soon, um, called DNA. She is um she has this amazing event about um, in, in partnership with the Grand Rapids Museum. Um, where they're going to be teaching people and all those who participate um, more about Africa, African food, the culture, the people, and, and all of that. It comes up on the 13th of October, so you may want to check out her page to know more about that. And, of course, wrapping it up beautifully, um, she is doing a, a special recipe. One of, She's going to be teaching the women and the people who will be coming for the program how to cook uh, some of these dishes we have the the the, the pleasure of, of learning this recipe right now and it's roasted duck okay roasted duck and I'm I'm already salivating I know go this mom is an amazing cook herself so hey you guys just enjoy it she will be adding on the recipe to this yes. duck and of course um she's putting that now into the oven and I think those are basil leaves again she already stuffed the chicken with some of the basil leaves fresh basil leaves and now she's just putting some on the top and it's going to go into the um the oven and then she will be back okay to tell us uh, more about some of those projects that she's working on yes guys I'm excited oh my god oh my god I like chop I like bami but I'm not I'm not really I don't know I've been losing my cooking touch <laughs> I mean, touch just because you know my husband doesn't care much for like the food doesn't need to be extraordinary, you know, yeah. it be ordinarily nice. So anything that you cook, he eats, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> so I'm losing that touch of really trying to cook, like trying to make it so nice and all that yeah. because for them, chop na chop, like you cook and mm, we we'll just eat together, like we're happy. <laughs> True, 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 true. It's like one of this. I just my cooking. Well, I like to discover new things. I like to try different cuisines. I like I like to carry something for yeah, mix that with one for the next day. You know, and sometimes I feel woefully. Sometimes it comes out really good. <laughs> so, did you learn that from home, just 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 with your mom, or was this something that you learned on your own, maybe by watching YouTube or by seeing other people cook? Cooking, I learned from my mom. Um, it's it's pretty much a thing at home. All my brothers, do, all of them. Your and brothers can cook. Wow. Yes, all of them. Your wives are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe when they go there and then they go, if they get pampered, they, they start, they, they stay behind and, and maybe, oh, I don't know how to cook things, but they do not cook it. I don't know if that's what happens. But yeah, my mom was, she was of the impression that everybody has to learn how to cook. You have to learn how to take care of yourself. And so we would cook with her, we would cook with uh, aunties. Again, you know, you know, you know, Cameroon. It's, uh, it's, it's a culture. Part of, it's part of, yeah, it's, it's part of who we are. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. part of who we are. The diversity in our cuisine and everything. Before you feel you're, you're like, I would like to think so that before you're like seeing something, you already know how to do most of the dishes. And yeah, it's, we have the edge because um, since re recipes don't get written a lot. If you want to master a dish, you have to master it by doing. Right, by doing. Right. Yes. And yeah. so, practicing. 
That's yeah. the best way to learn. Yes. Okay, so let's. we're, we're going to be wrapping up soon. Unfortunately, we can't wait for the chicken to get cooked. But hey, we've seen the recipe and we can go home and try it ourselves. So um, Mirabel Ume, um, tell us about some of those projects that you're working on um, right now. Yes, yeah, so I just launched our clothing line last week. And uh, it's playing on culture. It's playing on culture. It's playing on culture. Address the jollof war. So each country, if you think your country has the best jollof, you can actually purchase the t-shirt and wear it and right. You know, wow. and we also have um, motivating and inspiring quotes to go along with my music. Uh, we have t-shirts that say "I'm enough." There are t-shirts that say "Wow." There are t-shirts that say uh, "I am beautiful and unique and talented and I am a boss." No. Oh, that's so good. I love no it. Affirmation. You are boss. I have a program called You Are Boss. And mm -hmm. yeah, I love that title. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also uh, uh, have t shirts and hoodies that talk, that educate. Like uh, the one we have you know, adding some more, it says Africa is not a country. You know? So yeah. If you're wearing it, you're proud. You don't have to have those conversations. If you're wearing that hoodie or that shirt on, once someone sees you and has anything to say, that, like just read it, you know, it's not a country. <laughs> and when you read it, yeah, you think about what the next question that you want to ask, you know. And so we 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 want to be able to educate um, people about Africa. We want to be able to celebrate. Africa and its culture, and um, everything that falls under that culture music, its food, its people, its, its dance, its art, its painting. So, we, we, we do all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. So let's let's see how do people get in contact with you if you know they want to work with you and they just want to participate in one of the, the programs that you are organizing. So you can get to me uh, by going to our website for the cooking experience. You can go to www.motherlandcookingexperience.com, and the experience doesn't have an e in front. Okay. Just, just, just and my, my gonna, I We'll add the links um after this. And yes. I believe that it's actually in the promo that we did. The links yes, are we did. Yeah. We did. So you could reach me over there. You could reach me um on www.maramaimo.com for my music. And um yeah, I can't wait to talk with you. I can't wait to share. I just can get feedback from you. Um, I can't wait to meet you sometime online or in person so we can cook together and reconnect and just have a good life over or good laugh over our African wines, you know, and how, how we can make things better for ourselves here yeah. oh. and back home. Wow. Wow. You're just you're just so multi talented. You're just a warm person. Like I, I just had so much fun talking to you today. And I'm sure that everybody who was watching on the program today, they felt it. They felt that voice. My God, sis, you gave me goosebumps. And of course, I, I would I would definitely want you to sing another song before we go. I don't know which one. Linda, help me. Um, where's Doctor? Doctor Jig Wendelin, which of the songs do you want? I'm torn between uh, killing me and, and unique. I'm just like, I don't know, maybe there's something else I want to propose to us. But hey, I just want to let you all know next week, next week we're going to be having um two ladies in the house and we are just honored they are representing Cameroon at a very top competition um, a cooking competition that's taking place on live television in Australia um, they are the Cameroonian sisters Ashley and I don't know the other person's name but they're going to be our guests next week guys I need you all to come massively so it's just going to be cooking and more cooking next week with some other amazing ladies so hey Myra uh, what do you want to say to all those people who've been um you know supporting you standing by you promoting you and all that yes glam queen says she loves unique um mm -hmm. Lisa says killing me I love killing me that's something <laughs> powerful so you would choose and then just give us whichever one you want <laughs> you go well i want to thank you i want to thank everybody who came on to, to, to just uh support to, to get more information to to propose stuff for us 
thank you. I do not take your time lightly. I do not take your, your, your support lightly. So let's do this together. Um, definitely send, send me an email or a, a, message, a message on Facebook. I can always talk to you guys. You know, I'm thinking, what am I going to say? Hmm. I'll sing I know tire because that's the, the only one that I have in God. Linda. Oh, Mara is about to break my heart now. I thought you were gonna do killing me for us. Okay, oh, I'm not but that's what do I know tire. Let's hear another song. But I mean those, those are the ones that like those those are my songs. Like yeah. I'm not yeah. tired, but you know what? This is what you're giving us right now, and I just want us to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you sing. I'm leaving you to do your show right now. So you just take it away, sis. Okay, thank you so much for having me. So oh, this is how it goes. <clears throat> Finally, I find that your love was all I needed. Was looking for love. In all the wrong, wrong, wrong places, no one measured up to the love that we share. But I realized it too late, too late to stay. I no go tire, no go tire, not today, y'all. I say, yeah, la, 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 la. I no go tire, I no go tire, no go tire, not today, y'all. You are my best, the very best that I, I, that I ever had. You taught me to believe in myself, how to stand on solid ground. When everything is crumbling down, I can feel that you're all around, loving me through it all. Wow. I find my way right back to you. Oh, is where you are. Yeah, I no go tire. I no go tire. No go tire. Not today. No go tire. I no go tire. I no go tire. Not today. Oh. Hey, me my best woman. I remember. Do not make me cry. How can one one person be so talented, girl? Your voice. We thank God. We thank God. God. We thank wow. God. Thank you for blessing me today. I just feel like I can go out and conquer. Like, I mean, yes. you know, yes. what else is there? let me just go out and rock it. Amen. And I know that, that all of you watching this program have felt this, this same energy, this same love. I mean, Myra Maimo, you are, you're phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you oh, for having me. Uh, providing the platform for us, people like us, you know, showcase oh, yeah. what we do. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to all our wow, yeah, you know, thank yes. you so much for, for, for your support for being here. I love you, I love all of you. And remember, you are unique, you are beautiful, you are talented, just the way you are. You know, we all have things we have to work on, but all that self-love has to start from you, you know. 
Once you know that there's just one new entire world, there's so much. You're just yourself, unique. Yes. Oh wow, sis, you are just amazing. Thank you for bringing so much sunshine. It's starting to get cold, but I don't feel cold anymore because <laughs> I don't want my body better. I don't feel very well, sis. Like I just want to thank you, and I want to invite all of you. If you're not following Myra Mimo, just go back to the description of this um this program today. You would see all her contact details. If you want to get um you know, listen to more of her music. You can contact her there if you want to participate in the uh, the programs that she is uh, working on, the Motherland experience, learn how to cook, learn about African cultures, different people and all that. Just connect with her. Myra Maimo, I just, I wish you all the best, more Thank success so with all the amazing projects that you have. And um, just want to remind all of you who are watching right now, and if you don't know um, what Spotlight is all about, this is a program where we bring you people, personalities, and celebrities who are doing something worth sharing. Um, they share their stories with you, their experiences, their difficulties, their, you know, their, 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 they just try to empower you and inspire you with, with their stories. And like I always love to say, it's for everybody. We bring people from all walks of life. So you who's watching me, you might just be the next guest on the spotlight. So just keep being part of our beautiful family. Keep sharing, keep participating. And that call is just one step away. You might be the person sitting there. Mirabel Ume, bless you. Bless your heart. Bless your family. Thank you so much. And, and keep Thank growing. So We're behind you all the way. We did for your boxes. Thank you. Oh. Uh, before I, one thing I wanted to do is um, that we have a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So we have um, two free uh, virtual cooking sessions Woo. For, for whoever is going to win them. So. so how do people participate in the giveaway? I love giveaways. <laughs> So what you could do is, uh, so you, you go to our page on Facebook, uh, Motherland Cooking Experience, you can love and a friend. And then you just tell which African or Cameroonian or Nigerian, which other one, even if you're from Haiti or where, as long as it's an Afro or kind of dish, yeah, you know which one you, you love and why you love it. You like yourself and a friend, and then tell your story about your African food and African yes. food that you love, which and one you love, yes. And then uh, we'll randomly pick uh, two winners, right? Okay, Along with you. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So, hey guys, you've heard her, she has they have a uh. A giveaway coming up and they want to share um you know give two spots virtual cooking experience for you and someone just go to her page all the contact details are there in the um, promo for this program you can see all the ways in which you can contact our guest mirabel ume myra maimo um follow her on facebook on youtube on instagram on twitter she's everywhere okay and promote her i hope you heard all those songs she has a new album coming up in the market, guys. It's titled DNA. So with all this beautiful music, which is still from her old album, I don't even know what to expect in the new one that's coming up, but I know it's going to be epic. Okay. Worried. I can't wait to, to review. No, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just waiting to enjoy more of this beautiful music and your voice. Um, it's it's phenomenal. Like I just don't know what to say about that, but thank you, sis. Thank you for everything. I appreciate that. Thank all of you for being here. I appreciate you and have an amazing weekend. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, guys. So there you go. We've come to the end of the program like so many times. Like, I mean, when we get to the end of the program, it almost feels like we should not go away, but Tomorrow is another day. I told you guys, I have a special program coming up tomorrow with a young man. He's an entrepreneur. He's a writer. He's also the presenter of a program called Stuck in the Middle. He's going to be telling us all about his book. Uh, tomorrow, there's no such place as a middle ground. 
and you don't want to miss out on that. It's going to be tomorrow at 1 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and that will be 6 p.m. Cameroon time. So join me tomorrow. It's a very special edition. And of course, next Saturday, guys, I am so pumped up. I'm sure all of you must have seen uh, me pushing their promo out there. These two sisters who are representing Cameroon at a very prestigious uh, competition. It's called the Plate of Origin Competition, taking place in Australia on live television. They are going to be our guests next Saturday. But the program will not be at a regular time. It's going to be 5 p.m. our time. And it will be a little bit later, Cameroon time, I believe, maybe like 10 p.m. or so. But that's because they are in Australia and there are so many hours be in, in front of us. So that time, it's going to be like 7 a.m. their time in Australia. But that was the best time that we could work out with their team. So I'm counting on you guys. When I put out a promo, let's push it out because these girls, they've been making us so proud. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. And that's just what we do here on Gwen Media TV. If you're not part of this family yet, you better join the family. Follow us on YouTube. Um, make sure that you comment as well on the programs because we're streaming live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Make sure you participate. Every month, we're going to give a special giveaway to three of our top fans on the program. It's a surprise, but we're going to announce it. There's going to be fabulous prizes coming up because we are working with some people, some partners. So there's going to be so much happening. We want to build a community of like-minded people. Remember, this is media for development, okay? That is our motto here on Wednesday Media TV. And just like Spotlight, we have um, a very special edition of one of our programs, Celebrate Africa TV show. And you'll be seeing a lot of African faces, African icons, on the same platform. So we're working on a special at-home edition. We'll be giving you all the information as time comes up. All right, guys, I just want to wish you a fabulous Saturday and I want to wish you um, all the best. I'm going to leave you with these words. Be the change that you seek. And especially, don't forget that you are unique. You are beautiful. You are talented. You've got everything it takes. And um, you can change the world. You've got it inside of you. You are boss. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m., guys. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Mwah! <laughs>